everyone and welcome to Suga's Kitchen. So today it's a South Indian combo meal, a combination of uh, different spices and different vegetables to make a complete wholesome meal. So what I'm going to do is bitter gourd, cut into small pieces and it will be boiled in this much of imli uh, for which I've added two glasses of water to take an extract of imli. It's boiling here. And then here I have moong dal which I washed clean and boiling it in two glasses of water. So as you can see the moong dal is here and the water is reduced because the moong dal is almost three fourth cooked. And here the imli water with an extract of two glasses of water is boiling to which the bitter gourd will be added. Here in the canal, I have one and a half teaspoons of coconut oil to which I am going to add these spices which will be ground to a rough paste for the bitter goat. Bitter goat pitla, we call it pitla, bitter goat pitla, pavaka pitla. So let's add the bitter goat cut into small pieces to the imli extract. So let it cook well in the imli water. Now this moong dal is 3 fourth cooked. So it's time to add the cut white pumpkin. By the time the pumpkin cooks, the moong dal will cook fully and blend with the pumpkin. This is the way you have to actually add the vegetable after the dal is cooked. It's not good to pressure cook the moong dal. It becomes too mushy. So to this, first I am going to add ground pepper. I have ground it in the mortar and pestle. I am just adding it roughly ground. It will take in the essence and aroma of pepper as it cooks. After it boils well, I am going to uh, grind coconut and jeera and chilli. So I have grated coconut almost this much for both the bitter goat pitla and the white pumpkin coated together. So the coconut, jeera and red chilli will be ground smooth and added to the white pumpkin coated. So this is one item and for this I am going to add the spices. I am frying it in coconut oil. What I have is 1 tablespoon of chana dal, 2 tablespoons of coriander seeds, half a teaspoon of urad dal, half a teaspoon of jeera and 3 red chilies. So these will be sauteed nicely and a little bit of pepper. You can put pepper according to your taste because it will become very spicy. So add it according to your taste. And all this will be just to roast well in the coconut oil. After it is roasted very nicely and the aroma comes out, I will add half the coconut. I won't fry the coconut. I will just add and switch off the gas. This power cup pitla does not require pressure cooked gal to be added because all these spices will give enough thickness and consistency to the pitla. This is a spicy item. This is a bland item. And the raw banana is going to be saute fried in coconut oil. I am using coconut oil for the raw banana. I have dropped it in water so that it does not decolorize. It will be sauteed lightly with a little chilli powder. So that becomes the spicy item. Now to make all this a balanced meal, I am going to steam red capsicum, peanuts and peas, fresh peas with some chilies. This will be a bland salad. So this is how you make a combination meal because the taste has to balance as much as the ingredients. We often go into the protein, carbohydrate, fat balance. But that alone is not enough in South Indian vegetarian cooking. 
we balance the taste also taste balancing is very important in south indian cooking because one item is to be spicy like the pavaka pitla the other item has to be very bland like the white pumpkin putu and uh, this uh, will be a little oily the raw banana fried although it is sauteed lightly it's going to be a little oily to balance that we have the nice salad with all these three items so i have just taken quarter cup for the white pumpkin putu now this is frying test to fry well because after grinding you will add it to the cook bitter bowl often people relegate the cutting of vegetables to their uh, helpers who come home try to cut your own vegetables yourself just it's very easy to cut vegetables you just have to plan a little clean and wash the vegetable cut it into small pieces like this takes hardly 10 minutes and then you cut your own vegetables you know the quantity it's good exercise for your hands and gives a great feeling of satisfaction now these peels and the inner uh, pulp that comes out i am not going to waste it i collect it to put it for my plants as manure it's very easy to cut the white pumpkin too what you have to do is just remove the outer shell remove the cd part cut it into strips and just cut it into cubes so easy to cut vegetables try to cut your own vegetables grate your own coconut and try to do your own cooking as much as possible if you are really busy and you don't really have the time okay you can get help this has become brown and roasted well i am now adding the coconut I'm not going to fry the coconut. I'm just going to switch off the gas. After it cools, we will grind it and add it to the pavaka pitla. By the time this cools, this will be boiled. So this is how you manage your time. By pre-preparation is important. Even if it's a small meal for a small family. Cut your vegetables, keep your ingredients ready, and get going. We'll continue after this boils. So the white pumpkin is cooked along with the moong dal, cooked well. So the grated coconut, red chilli, and jeera, all are raw ingredients, has to be added to this. So this goes for the white pumpkin coated. Let it just simmer in low boil to blend together. These are the ingredients that we ground after frying and cooling, which goes into the pavaka pitla. The roasted ingredients, and then whatever water you get from the mixi jar after washing should never be wasted. but should be added to this now here this also has to boil for one or two minutes to blend well after it blends well i will be roasting this coconut in coconut oil and adding it to the pitla last now for the sauteed uh, frying the raw banana i'm just adding a little mustard in coconut oil i'm using coconut oil because raw banana tastes very good with coconut oil let the mustard crackle 
Crackling of mustard gives out a good flavor and aroma and it's a very important aspect in South Indian cooking. Now add the urad dal. This gives it a nutty flavor. In South Indian cooking we use more coconut and less onions. So the urad dal is roasted. And I am using the banana cut into small pieces. And a little water, not too much. For all of this, don't forget the salt and turmeric powder. It's an essential part of our cooking tradition. For the raw banana, take off the peel and just Cut it into slices. Why I am showing cutting of vegetables is it's one of the easiest part in cooking and something that should be done by everybody. Takes hardly few minutes. So allow it to saute in the oil. It's not too much oil, just one and a half spoons. And with this little bit of water, it will get cooked well. So now this can be switched off. This also can be switched off. After which, after this is done, I will roast the coconut and add. So the vegetables are cooked and boiled. We have come to the last step which is tempering. For that I have taken one and a half teaspoons of coconut oil and I will be adding mustard, some red chilli, some urutal and curry leaves. That will go into the white pumpkin kutu and the pavaka or bitter goat pitla. This has already been sorted and that is the salad which has been steamed. Here a little bit of coconut, say half a cup, I am just frying lightly in coconut oil to add to the pitla. So this gives a Good aroma and flavor. Let it get roasted nicely. In the meantime, we will just add some mustard seeds to the coconut oil which is got hot. And then the urdal. Let it fry well. And we will add some hing to the power cup pickler. After the urutal is roasted, some green chilli and curry leaves. Tempering is an important part in South Indian cuisine because we believe that this is the final ultimate flavor and uh, texture to the whole menu. So everything has mustard, urutal, curry leaves and red chilli added to it at the last. Yeah. So part of this will go into the kutu and part of it into the pavaka pitla. Now this is also ready, it's got nicely roasted. So this also goes into the Kavaka Pitla. So we have the white pumpkin coated which is a kind of bland, white rice. And then the pavaka pitla which is really spicy, the banana fry which is spicy and then a steamy salad of green peas, uh, peanuts and red capsicum with green chilli and a little bit of lemon at the last. And nothing goes without curd, ghee and pickle. 
So let me tell you something about this white pumpkin. This is part of our menu almost every day. The white pumpkin has lot of health benefits. It's rich in vitamin A, B6 and uh, rich in minerals. All the minerals like zinc and magnesium and everything. It's also rich in uh, tryptophan. Tryptophan, uh, you know, absence of uh, tryptophan causes depression. And uh, this is an antidepressant because it's rich in L-tryptophan which cannot be manufactured by the body. So this causes like good, healthy living. So go for the white pumpkin, eat your pumpkin every day as part of your meal. A South Indian combo meal, healthy and balanced right from taste to nutrition. Thank you.